Okay, okay, I admit it. I may have a problem. This is another CRT that I don't need. But man, if it isn't super cool. This is the Samsung GX TV, a 13 inch television that was marketed to little kid gamers around 1997. I've heard of some folks saying that they got theirs in 1996, but you know, 96, 97 timeframe. This is a CRT tube television. It is not the best. <laughs> it is not a Trinitron, it's not high end, but it was pretty pricey. I'll have to look up the MSRP it and I'll probably put it down here someplace but I think it was like 300 bucks, which was a lot back then for a 13 inch television. So what makes this thing super cool? Well, what makes sports cars super cool? The doors, right? Lamborghinis, DeLoreans, they all have cool doors. Check out these doors. They open up to reveal, again, a 13 inch CRT, and it is pretty curved. I've seen this one in action and it actually looks pretty good. Hey, you can see me there. Hi, got some lights up there. But these big honking speakers, it looks like it has tweeters, but I was looking into it. You can kind of see it even there. It's actually just their, their faux speaker. <laughs> They're not actually there. I think it just has speakers here, um, but it does have a subwoofer up there. And um, yeah, this sounds amazing. And again, it's not the highest picture quality, but again, it was made for kids. You put this in your room, you close it up when you're not using it, you protect your screen. And um, yeah, it's even got a headphone jack, which is kind of neat, especially, uh, you know, if you're in your room late at night and your mom's like yelling at you, turn it down because this thing's so dang loud. Um, and then it's got this GX mode, which I, again, I've seen this demonstrated when I purchased it from this guy in San Antonio. And it seems to, he, I think he told me it has to do with color saturation and bass. So it gives you deeper bass and higher color saturation. I don't know, when he pressed the button, it looked better and sounded better. So I don't know why you would ever have it off. I guess it probably depends on the game you're playing. He modeled it with, uh, sorry, he demoed it with Auto Modelista for the PS2, which is a cel-shaded racing game and it looked phenomenal, but. Take a look at these buttons here. We got a power button, of course, channel up, channel down, volume up and down, the menu, and then GX mode. This is a sensor for the remote, which I did get. Unfortunately, it's not the remote, it's a remote. It works with the television, but it's not the Samsung branded one. I think the only thing that would be missing is the GX mode button. But honestly, this thing's a 13 inch television. It's not like I'm gonna be so far away from it. I'm gonna be pretty close to it. And I'm probably not gonna be doing much other than adjusting the volume and power, which I'm just gonna be doing here anyway. So, oh, uh, here's got simulated surround and subwoofer. So I think that the GX mode just turns on the subwoofer. I don't know that there's any other buttons. Maybe there's something in menu and we'll have to check that out. Let's go ahead and turn it around and see what kind of inputs we've got. All right, so I didn't mention it, but it is actually on a little stand, like a PC monitor would be. So you can actually find them without the stand, but this one does have the stand. If it doesn't have the stand, obviously it just sits flat at a particular angle, but you can move it. So I'm gonna slide it forward a little bit to get a better look at the inputs. And it's pretty basic. It's got two RCA inputs, composite inputs, one and two. And then it's got RCA out, which is pretty cool. So I know that this wasn't a thing back in the day, but if you were doing some streaming or something, you can actually send the video out. I presume that back in the day, they had this so that you can output to your VCR, I guess, so that if you wanted to record gameplay. And of course it's got the old coax inputs for antenna and cable. So I guess that's two different coaxial inputs. Uh, I'm actually going to try the coax I have, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I picked up a Sega Genesis Model 2 and it came with RF cables and including the, I mean, it came with the composite cables, but it also came with an RF cable. So I'll use that to see if I can get anything out of this. And then I'll probably put the Dreamcast on here and maybe a Super Famicom on the other one, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and check it. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's take a look at the, oh, this is a 1996 model. So yeah, for sure, it at least came out in 1996. Pretty cool.
I read a quick little blurb on the RF input on this thing. If I had taken the time to read, I would have seen that this one is for television and this one is for game input. Now, technically you only need one because the RF modulators at the time, pretty modern ones like this one, this is an RF unit for the Genesis Model 2. It has a pass-through, so you could put your TV cable or your TV antenna here, and then of course this goes to the Genesis. If you turn on your Genesis, it would send the Genesis signal to the TV. If you turn off your Genesis, it would pass through the cable or TV antenna to the TV. Now, the channel select three or four would let you choose which channel, channel three or channel four on VHF, uh, that it would send a signal to. Now, the reason there are two, if you're super young and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, we used to get television signals over the air and you had to tune into a specific channel to see whatever you wanted to see. So back home, my channel four was CBS and there was no channel three. So if I tried to play on channel four, like it is right now, it would, if it was, too close to the TV antenna, it might get interference. So while it's trying to send the uh, Genesis signal through here, it might actually pick up some of the TV antenna because it's just too powerful. So, and if that was the case, you would just choose it, choose channel three. To the best of my knowledge, there's, there's very few, very few network television stations that use channel three. So most of us use channel three. And in Japan, I think they even had an option to select channel two, but a lot of our televisions don't go down to channel two. So yeah, we're stuck with three or four. So yeah, this basically was, you choose the one that has the, the least interference and then you would tune in on that channel. So by having two, you wouldn't even have to mess with this pass through. You would just put the cable or TV antenna here, your game here, and then you would just change the inputs between which of these RF. This is pretty rare. Most of the time you only had one of these. So anyway, that's pretty neat. All right, well, that's about as good as I'm gonna get this set up. I do have a camera just pointed directly at the screen, so it's probably gonna get some syncing issues. You're probably gonna see black bars scrolling down. That's just the way that this video is being captured. It's actually not on the screen that I'm looking at, so I just wanna let you know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I know that the speakers are out of frame, but to be honest, if I got the speakers in frame, the screen would be so small, and I kinda of wanted to show you a little bit of the video quality, so. As best I can anyway. So let's get this going. Let's power it on. I'm not sure what input mm -hmm. I left it on. Oh, and it's going to be loud. This thing gets super, super loud. Okay, so it's on the Dreamcast. It's warming up there. And maybe I can turn these off too. Yeah. Maybe I can turn this one off too. So that looks pretty good. I think that we can live with this. So this is obviously Dead or Alive 2 for the Dreamcast. And man, I feel like maybe I can get some more lights up. Maybe I can get all the lights off here or most of the lights. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so I've turned off most of the lights. You can't see these buttons anymore, but you can see that the surround and the subwoofer lights are on. So I wanted to show you a little bit on the, so this thing is necessary to switch inputs. Oh my gosh, that was loud. It's funny how that volume looks the same as it does now, I feel. Um, channel's not gonna do anything. Not available in game mode because I'm in video input one. Um, but let me just go ahead and go through the different inputs. That is obviously video input one. Oh my goodness. Well, this is not fair because <laughs> this is a fire stage and I know it looks blurry, but it's supposed to look blurry. Let me reset this game. Oh, doesn't the reset not work? Can I not? How about power? I had some problem with that cable. That uh, cable, that RF cable is is janky. So I have it propped up a certain way because the connection, it's not the best. So the cable's not great. The RF itself isn't great, but um, let's turn it up a little. It still sounds okay. Um, of course, the Genesis can make some amazing sounds. There's some amazing soundtracks on the Genesis. Um, but yeah, the colors are good. This, I think, has GX mode on. Oh, that was... What, what happened? What? Oh, it went to Antenna 2. 
interesting when I took GX mode off. So I had to put this in the game RF um, to even get it to work. Because I could, you know, I was cycling through the different inputs and I could not get it to come up to the second RF switch, but apparently you have to turn game mode off in order to get to that. But anyway, uh, I guess we'll just leave it on. It sounds okay. Um, it looks pretty bad. Honestly, it doesn't sound that great either. But this is totally because of the way, look, wow, this is almost unreadable to me. It's so, oh, grainy. Um, but again, that's so blurry. This is the product of being hooked up via RF, not the TV itself. I feel I have to stress that. But yeah, the, the, the tube is bright. Um, the sound is, separation is really good. I know that you can't hear it because of the way I'm capturing it, but it really is good. So yeah, that's a, that's, I, I, I fear if I, that, look how low, look how, that's low. Wow, I'm not even halfway there. That is nuts. I'm gonna wake up wake up my wife she's downstairs on the other side of the house and I think I'm gonna wake her up it's so loud so let's go to a different input she might come looking for me saying what are you doing so this one looks obviously way way better this is just RCA composite input and uh, man I feel like I have to turn it down oh I'm not playing the Genesis anymore I'm playing the Dreamcast so let's go into that let me turn it up a little. I mean, oh my goodness, that is already pretty loud. Look at that, how low that is. So let's turn GX move off here. It sounds fine, but turning it on, oh my God, you can really tell the difference. I don't really know how to, I'm not really playing to play, but. Uh, the geometry looks really good. Oh my god, am I doing all that? Must, must have, it's probably the easiest, easiest level. But turning GX mode off, still sounds fine. Still sounds perfectly fine. It's still loud. Um, and you probably wouldn't even think anything of it. It just sounds normal. Get ready. I wouldn't think anything of it. I mean, it's like, okay, it's, it's sound. It sounds fine. But turn this thing on. Oh my God, it, it really does sound like surround. I will show you at the, at the risk of dying here, and I probably will die. That if I use the menu here, you can switch the video settings, standard, game, custom. So I could actually go down here and modify all of these, um, but I'm just going to set it back to, to game, which I believe, I believe what GX mode is doing is turning on game mode and that's it for audio and video. So for this, I can switch it to custom and switch this around. If I want more trouble or if I want to make it go to left or right, I can do that. Um, I mean, I don't think this video is in stereo, but you can select which, if you want to, I don't know why you would want to be balanced at left and right, you can do that. Um, this was pretty neat. So it's probably easier, honestly, to show you with the VCR. So let me switch it over to the VCR. No, there it is. Oh, it's going to go right into... So that actually looks pretty bad if you're in game mode. I don't know if you tell. Uh, so let us go to the menu. Standard. Oh, it's got swear words. That's okay. I swear all the time. 
So the, the audio, this is not a very good scene, unfortunately. All right, so we're just gonna pretend that this is where I started. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the menu again. Oh, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted trailers because trailers can't be copyright stricken. Oh, I I turned on the, um, the CC, the closed captioning. That's GX mode. It's off. It actually looks it's better with it off. We have reservations. Man, that sounds so good, though. And a lone bellhop named Dan set up his first day on the job. All you have to do is hold the fort. And the next Why don't you the, um... Is in for the night. I had the captions on, and now it's not doing anything, so I don't know what's going on. But anyway. I haven't got a problem. I've got problems. Plural. My children are still here. Here is where you can change the different kinds of video settings. Pretty standard. I mean, you see this today. The five of us. For movies, mild, custom, standard. So if you put it on movies, it actually looks pretty good. That's not a face you can trust. So let's go to audio. And we can go to movies here. And honestly, like this was not an option in some of the other inputs. So I think these options are per input. Like you can change to movies on this input, but you could on other ones. So I, I don't know. It's kind of strange. You can do surround sound. Oh, I didn't even see this option before. Before it was. Oh, this is nice. I don't know why you would do a concert for a movie. But let's see, turn this off. Oh, wow, that makes a huge difference. It's way better with it on. All right, let's get out of here. Every legend is based on... Is this the crow? V? What is this? I don't even know where... It is. There's a little... I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's some white bleeding here. It's the first time I've seen this. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Hmm. By a night when evil roamed the streets. But anyway, that's the uh, VCR input, and it looks really good. Everyone knows his name. Everyone. Let's go back to Dead or Alive. And honestly, let me let me go back to the uh, to that. Turning GX mode off, like on, makes it worse, I think, for movies. So there's definitely a reason. Myers. There's definitely a reason to turn it off. I think if we're watching movies, this is really bothering me. I don't know if that's interference in the VCR. I didn't see this before. Come on, say to a video cassette. I move it a little further away. I don't know. I think it's just there. I did not notice that earlier. Is it on the game? As you no doubt heard, my exo has appendicitis. Uh, it was at the top of the list. Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do it with the remote. <laughs> oh, wow, the game is so much louder. Yeah, it's not there during the game. I can see like black. It must be the VCR because it's not there right now. Man, it sounds so good. What is it trying? Is it trying to do the? It's trying to. What is that? It's it's doing the um. Pause. Okay. Oh, did it stop? Okay. It's doing the, uh, see, the closed captioning. I know, other ladies, that's okay. Uh, this time I'm saying. Smashing buttons. Shit.
Anyway, I think that shows off the TV and this, this again, I can't say this enough because every time this, it just sounds so good. It looks fine. I mean, it is 13 inch television, so composite doesn't look that bad. But of course, it's not a Trinitron and you do have a curved screen. But again, screen being 13 inches, it's small. Although if you open up the, or when you open up the speakers, uh, it makes it a little bit bigger. Anyway, guys, I think that's a good enough demo. Turn this down. Man, it's so loud. <laughs> but you see how low that was? I'm not even going to dare to turn it up. <laughs> it's late and my wife will wake up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is a crazy cool TV. I'm glad I picked it up, but I think that's it. I have a BVM, a PVM, the GX TV, which I always wanted. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time.